Morning YouTube, it's your favorite denture wearer. Hope everybody's doing all right today. I'm not having a good day. Went to bed last night, glued my teeth in like I normally do. Got up at midnight, teeth weren't, I mean, I was, it was at midnight when I glued them in. Three o'clock in the morning, they were just, my top denture had come loose and I damn near choked on it. Um, got up, re-glued it, put it all back in, cleaned up, put it all back in. Um, tried to go back to sleep. Got up this morning at six o'clock. Damn thing still wasn't setting properly. I don't know what the hell was going on. I don't know what the problem was. It's days like this that just make you want to just take your teeth out and throw them in the fucking trash. Um, I don't know what the problem was. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's still not glued solid. Um, I cleaned it up again this morning. I went for about four hours without it. It's now uh, 116. Well, it's upside down. Anyway. So after one o'clock in the afternoon, I still haven't been able to eat anything. Um, having a hard time drinking anything because uh, the fucking denture keeps moving around on me, and and uh, you know I don't I don't like going without my teeth unless I absolutely have to. Um, it's hard to swallow because the fucking thing keeps moving around. It's just one of those days. Um, you know I have bad days too. Everybody has bad days. I normally don't. Uh, do a video on a bad day, um, but you know, I, I guess I, I, I have to show that I have bad days too. Every, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a human being, so I have my bad days just like everybody else. Um, head's pounding, feels like somebody's hitting me in the head with a sledgehammer. Phone's not working properly. Computer's not working properly. Um, it's just one of those days where I just, I, you know. I just want to throw my teeth in the trash and just go bury my head in the sand somewhere and just say, fuck it, I'm done. I'm done. You know, I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with anything today. Um, right now I can't eat anything because uh, my teeth aren't set up. Um, I don't think they're going to set up today. I don't think the top one's going to set at all. So um, I'll probably just wait until this evening and just take them out and eat some raviolis or something soft. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm still two months away from getting the hard relines. Um, do that April 26th. I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping that makes a big difference because right now I, you know, there's days like this where I just can't handle this shit. Um, I just don't want to deal with it. Um, everybody has bad days, and um, I was just looking through some of my old videos that I made for my own personal use. Um, and I've mentioned that I've done that. And I came across a video where I'm sitting on my bed without my shirt on and I'm just in tears and I'm talking about throwing my teeth down the fucking road and just giving up, you know, and that was day four. Okay. And the same day that I'm eating chicken and pasta Alfredo, um, I woke up in the morning, the doctor had, I had some really severe sores on the bottom. Doctor told me to sleep without my dentures. That was on day two. He said, take them out at night, sleep without them, put them back in in the morning. Day three, I struggled for hours and hours and hours in sheer agony, trying to get that bottom denture to, you know, just to quit hurting enough to be able to wear it. And took it out about halfway through the day or whatever and uh about well not quite halfway but you know i took it out you know four or five o'clock in the evening and and didn't put it back in until the morning of day four and i was struggling i mean it fucking hurt and i'm a pretty tough guy so if something brings me to tears that's a lot of damn pain so i went to the dentist that morning um, he realized how severe everything was. He fixed the problem, came up with a couple of solutions. Um, that's the day that I kind of exploded and told him, you know, this, this shit ain't going to work. 
I need, you know, you better be straight with me from now on. You know, don't tell me just, you know, everything's going to be fine or whatever. And from that point on, he's been perfect with me. But I kind of went in there. Um, I was angry. I was in severe pain. And I was fucking starving. I was hungry. And so I had gone in there and he took care of the problem. And then later that afternoon, I was able to eat finally. And that's when I did my video of eating chicken and pasta Alfredo. So I'm going to post that video. The next video I post will be that video um, to show you that it's not all, it's not all, you know, sunshine and roses. Um, I have had my moments. Um, today is one of them. I am just not in a good mood. I'm not in a good mood. Um, it's just one of those fucking days. I got to deal with idiots making excuses why they can't pay their rent. I'm probably going to have to throw a couple of people out of here because I'm tired of their bullshit excuses all the time. They got plenty of money to go buy beer and, and drugs with, but they can't pay their damn rent, and I'm fed up with it. Um, I got one idiot here that just keeps, I guess he just thinks we live in, you know, backwoods trailer park trash or whatever. This is a very nice campground. It's all concrete pads and everything else. We try to keep it clean. We try to keep people in here to keep their areas cleaned up. This guy comes in here living in a, a bus. And he's a hoarder. And he's got so much shit stacked up around his bus. It looks like it should be in the backwoods of Alabama or Tennessee or some shit. You know, up in the, up in the damn mountains, redneck, redneck area, you know. Nothing against rednecks personally, but, you know, I, I, I've been riding his ass for two months now to clean up the damn mess, you know. You're allowed to have a couple of chairs and a, and a small table and a barbecue grill out next to your unit, and that's it. Not eight million, to, and he's a dumpster diver. So he goes around and he dives in the dumpsters and just collects all kinds of shit and just brings it in, you know, and just piles it up around his motorhome. He's a hoarder. So... I'm probably going to have to get rid of his ass, too, because I'm tired of the bullshit. And today is, is the day that, a day like today is the day that I'll snap. You know, I'll just get fed up with the crap and just tell him to go. Um, You know, it's just one of those days. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I'm sure you've all have had those days. You wake up, everything's fine first thing in the morning, and... One thing after another keeps going wrong, and it just keeps building, and it just keeps building, and pretty soon you're ready to just tear up the first person you see. And it all started at 3 o'clock this morning with these damn teeth not gluing in properly. You notice I'm always clenching down because that fucking top denture still, even with all that glue on it, wants to fall out. <laughs> the glue's not sticking to the denture. It sure is sticking to my gums, but it ain't sticking to the damn denture. And I'm cleaning them the same way I always do. So I don't understand what the problem is today. You know, maybe I got a bad tube of glue or or maybe I didn't quite rinse it good enough. Or, I, you know, hell, I, I could sit here and speculate for freaking hours trying to figure it out. Any Nothing's going to figure it out until I just take them out, throw them in a the damn cup and forget them for a while. You know, it's it's days like today that are that are the most trying. First week with my dentures was the longest week I've ever lived in my life. And then things go great for a long period of time. And but when you have a day like today, it seems like a fucking eternity. You know, today already feels like I've, I've been dealing with... It feels like I've been dealing with this shit for a week now. I'm very impatient. I don't like having problems like this. I don't like dealing with problems like this.
anyway, the next video I post, I'll do a split video. I'll post the one of me having so much trouble on day four. And I'll make a few comments about that. And then I'll show me eating food the same day. And I'll explain in between the variances of changes that can happen. I mean, it can happen that fast. Um, the first two months with your dentures, things can change from an hour to hour basis. And I really want to make that clear with people. The hour that you're struggling, like today, right? I'm struggling like a son of a bitch with this top denture. It's really pissing me off. And it seems like an eternity. Tomorrow, everything will be just fine. Pink cotton candy and roses. <laughs> Today sucks. Completely sucks. So I have my moments. I have my bad days just like everybody else. So keep that in mind. That, you know, not everything that goes on in my life is, you know, tulips and roses and, and happy fluffy cloud days. It's not. I have my bad days too. So my next video that I post, I will show my worst day. The video I held back for myself to look at. The video I held back so that I could look at that and go, fuck, today is nothing compared to what I've been through already. And that's, you know, I, I, I want people to make videos. Talk to the video. Don't even post them. Don't, don't make videos to put on Facebook or YouTube or anything else. Make videos of yourself, and if you're in pain, talk about it. You know, tell yourself how much fucking pain you're in. Tell, tell yourself how bad it hurts. Talk about it like you're talking to a friend, explaining the situation. A month from now, you can go back and look at that video and go, oh, well, the little bit of pain I've got today is nothing compared to what I've been through. And it gives you that inspiration to keep going and to keep trying. Everybody has a cell phone camera. So when you're having a shitty day and the pain is intense and you don't want to do it anymore, make a video. Show that anger. Make a video. Show the tears. Show the anger. Show the frustration to yourself. Just like you're talking to a friend or talking to a loved one or just like if you're just breaking down and like when you're a kid and you're breaking down and crying to your mom. Do that. Make that video. And then a month from then, a month after, when you're having a bad day like I'm having today, go back and look at that video. I guarantee you, you'll look at that video and go, oh, well, today is, fuck, this is nothing. This is nothing compared to what I've been through. And yes, I'm frustrated and I'm aggravated today and I'm and I'm I got zero sleep last night and I've got a headache that's just pounding like somebody's in there with a jackhammer. But I still watched that video this morning and thought to myself, I can get through today. No matter how aggravated I am, I can get through today. Because I've been in worse shape than I am now. So Make some videos of yourself, especially if you're really having a hard time with your dentures. Make videos. Not You don't have to do it every day, but make a video journal that you can go back and look at so that you can see how you've progressed and how bad shit used to be and how much better it is now. Do that favor for yourself. This is your favorite denture wearer signing off. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and don't be afraid to send me a comment or an email. Have a great day.